subscribe to mind body soul and click on the bell icon for more updates most of us love having peanut butter but the store bought options have a lot of hydrogenated oils preservatives stabilizers emulsifiers and added sugars and the list goes on so today i'm going to teach you how to make your very own homemade healthy peanut butter and that too under 1 minute with only one ingredient so let's get started so first let me begin by giving you three excellent reasons as to why you must include peanut butter in your diets number 1 it is very tasty and it's also very versatile which means that we can add this to a lot of dishes number 2 it's very high in good quality fat and good quality protein and number 3 this is super inexpensive and affordable and in fact can also be added to daily diets so just ensure that if you really want to reap all of these health benefits your peanut butter should be homemade from scratch with just one ingredient which is real wholesome peanuts and that's exactly what i'm going to show you today so first let's begin by understanding which peanuts do you actually have to use the first variety of peanuts that we all actually have in our kitchens are these raw peanuts these are the ones that we generally add to our gujarati dals and poha as well and the second type of peanuts are the ones that we generally snack or munch on now these are generally they come pre roasted with the covering or without the covering the ones that we're going to use today are these without the covering So the first step is to actually roast your peanuts if they're not pre-roasted. You can do this on a skillet or a kadhai or even use your oven for this. The one tip that I generally give my clients is that if you're okay with a little unique flavor, don't really remove this outer brown covering of the peanut. So when I make it at home for my family, I always ensure that I keep the cover on in fact so that it adds a lot of added flavor and fiber. But if you really want to remove the cover, then after you dry roast your peanuts, just make sure that you wait for about 5 minutes till they become a little cold and then we will just scrub it gently and the peel will come off in less than a minute. Second step is to understand the grinder that we're going to use. So we all have this mixer grinder in our houses. The one tip that I'd like to give you is to always ensure that you're using the smaller attachment. What I've observed with my clients who actually try and make this at home the first time is that they use the bigger attachment. But what happens when we use this larger attachment? We actually get a very coarse grind, almost like a peanut powder. But today we want peanut butter. So the peanuts actually start releasing their oils and become creamy in texture and buttery when we use a smaller attachment. So let's get started. The first thing that we have to do is use the small attachment and fix it in place. Now all that's left to do is add our pre-roasted peanuts into your jar. Now the simplest thing is left and that is to pulse this. So now my nice creamy buttery peanut butter is ready. You can see the consistency of this. This is nice and creamy. Now, let me give you a little tip. At this point, you can also add in your flavorings or toppings. So if you like nice salty peanut butter, you can add a little bit of sea salt. If you like a nice sweet and chocolatey one, you can add some raw cacao powder with either honey or jaggery. And a little tip from me would also be the storage. This doesn't need any refrigeration, so you can actually store this in an airtight container, but always make sure that you're using a glass or a steel container as opposed to a plastic one, and that's something that I always tell my clients. Also, now I've taught you how to make your own peanut butter, but I'm going to give you my greatest tip. Now that you know the method, you can actually use this for not only other nut butters like almond butter, cashew butter, but also for seed butters. So you can make pumpkin seed butter, sunflower seed butter, or like my favorite one, which is a mixed seed butter. So now all that's left to do is to transfer this to a nice container. So we're going to slowly add this. So here's our rich creamy peanut butter. 
you know what's the best part that we've actually made this without using any additives preservatives emulsifiers stabilizers literally made from scratch using whole peanuts and that's what makes this so healthy for us a little tip from me to you is also the storage so as i told you to not refrigerate it you can refrigerate it but i always ask my clients to keep this outside so the consistency doesn't vary and this stays fresh for about 2 to 3 months outside not in the refrigerator so there you have it guys this was my peanut butter homemade from scratch using one ingredient under 1 minute so i really hope that you find this video helpful remember to share this with somebody who find some value and worth out of this So until next time stay healthy stay happy and stay tuned to your very own the health space